Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Kevin, and welcome to my little corner of the universe. Today, we're doing a battle of the burgers. Blaze versus Fat Boys. Subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, be it good or bad, no matter what it is, I'm always going to interact with you. Blaze Burgers in Westbrook. We just stopped off at Cumberland Farms, got ourselves a peppermint hot cocoa and a white chocolate latte. White chocolate caramel. Mm, even better. For the trip to go get Blaze Burgers. Blaze Burgers is out of Westbrook, Maine. Hand cut fries, locally owned, operated. So we're going to go give it a try. So, a little history on Westbrook. Westbrook was a paper mill for the longest time, and they have what they call S.D. Warren, which is one of the largest paper mills in all of Maine. They produced almost, until about a year, year and a half ago, 40% of the paper that you use currently. Their paper mill is now getting ready in the process of being shut down because of pollution. If I could describe the smell of S.D. Warren back in the 80s, they are approximately like five probably five, seven miles away from the city of Portland. And within those five, seven, ten miles, you could smell SD Warren up to 20 miles away. No it was kidding. like musty farts. It was. Some of the other famous things you might know Westbrook for that was in the news recently was the Fairy Circle of Ice that ah. was circling in the river. The other thing that you might have noticed as well is the anaconda. Or the, the Yeah, the uh, anaconda snake that got loose inside the river and was living there until the scientists could catch it. I think. They've added a market basket, which is huge here for Mainers. And? And they also have... Chick-fil-A. Yeah, they also have the Chick-fil-A as well, which is huge for Mainers because we love our Chick-fil-A. And, and no kidding. As small as Maine is, as small as Westbrook is, they have an hour line going around the corner for fucking Chick-fil-A. So just give me an idea. <laughs> and trust me, I don't want to say I've sat in line for an hour, but... <laughs> I'm going to sit in line for an hour or so to go get me a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> So we're gonna give Blaze Burgers a try here. I was tempted to try one of the fries without with the without filming. So I'm gonna make a fry from Blaze. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just like potato chips, like wonderful salt and vinegar potato chips, only they were hot, yummy. It's homemade like potato fries. chips. Oh, uh, like and Humpty Dumpty potato mm -hmm. chips. Like the two season from it. You know, fucking awesome. Ooh. You could smell the vinegar on it before you even open oh, before we You can smell the vinegar coming out of the bag. This old good Mary Anzi mine, not hers. Mmm. <laughs> fucking right. Dude. Alright. Now I've tried burgers from a lot of places. If you see my chair Ooh. before, you know this to be true. Harmons, Cowbell, Sebago, a lot of different places. Let's try Blaze Burgers. Here we go. Black Mountain Brewery. Black Mountain Brewery. So, bacon, cheddar, cheeseburger from the Blaze. Here we go. Mm. This is amazing. The butter stiff. Like a brioche bun. It's toasted. Which is good, but it made it kind of hard. There's no seasoning on the burger itself. Uh -oh. I can't taste salt. I can't taste pepper. The cheddar cheese mm. is mild, to say the least. And the bacon's crumbled and put all over the top of the sandwich. I'm not tasting any applewood smoke, any hickory smoke. Up here in Maine, you expect to taste even a maple smoked bacon. But I'm not tasting any of that on this burger. I like that. Mm. Mm. But the consistency of the meat itself, though, 
That's notable. Mm hmm It's good to medium. Medium well. I wouldn't rank this as the highest burger in the world. They, they make a big point on the menu to point out that it is ground beef. Ground beef and fresh. Which it is ground beef. But it is fresh, but it is lacking. Lacking big time in seasoning. <clears throat> they should have taken a lesson from their fries and put some seasoning in their burgers. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion, celery salt, those type of things. Burger place, they won't put condiments on their own burger. Isn't really that trustworthy with seasoning or making a really fantastic burger. So any company that can season a fry, that's damn good. I can't season a burger. Hmm. I'm sorry, Blaze Burgers. You are a stage better than the cowbell. The burger is nothing to write home about. Anyway, where we're going today is Fat Boys in Brunswick. I've personally never been to Fat Boys, and this will be my first time experiencing it, so you'll see my honest to God true experience with both these places because I never had plays until we recorded the last video. So, this is the uh, Fat Boy Drive-In up here in Brunswick, Maine. It's a simple little diner. It's the first, it's the second day they're open of the year, 2022. Yes, it is the second day they've been open. Uh, it's been a staple here for a while. Uh, over there, that is the former Brunswick Naval Air Station, which is no longer open. It was decommissioned probably about, I think it was like 10 years ago. And now they're trying to refurbish it into like malls and living quarters and shops and schools and things like that. But... I can't wait to see more of this. I'm fucking waiting. I'm so, waiting for it to come out. The reason we're coming up here today is well, we're going to be seeing Morbius at the theaters. It's our first time checking out the uh, movie. We just went to go see Batman. This is going to be controversial. I know I'm going to get a lot yeah. of heat for this one. It sucked. Batman horrible. sucked. It was horrible. We literally, literally walked out on the second hour. I know don't hate. Don't hate. And I know I'm going to see a lot of hate, but I don't want hate. It's just my personal opinion that movie sucked. My personal opinion that movie was trash. I don't have much hope for Morbius either, to tell you the truth. But So we'll come back when the uh, burgers are done. We put in our orders. I like did just a simple cheeseburger and fry variant and a, um, the Fat Boys version of Whopper. And she got onion rings and french fries with that. Of course did, I did. Did you get anything else? No. And when they come out, we'll show you what the food looks like. All right, so we had to bring it in pretty quick because there's a seagull out here in order to stolen our food, but they come in on the car hops, the little trays right here, our napkins, our ketchups, so we bring those in now. Let me put you back up here so you can see what's going on. There we go. Comes in a little bag like that, there's your fries, right there. How are they, Marianne? Look at the hand cut, Marianne's not shaking her head, she's not even doing the yum thing. Those are not great fries. Those are not great fries. Okay. So, I've been at a lot of burger places. I just tried to videotape this, and my camera wasn't recording. But I'm going to do it again right now. These fries are absolutely horrible. They're breaded in something. They came out cold. Like, they've been sitting underneath a hot lamp forever. Marianne's onion rings are not good. <laughs> the ketchup does not save the fries at all. We're gonna have a larger seagull problem. We're gonna throw them out to the seagull. The burgers, three and a half ounce patty, white American cheese, mustard and ketchup on the bottom of the bun. I know we got that condiment on top of the bun, on top of the burger, underneath the top bun. Now we got why you put a condiment underneath. This is not a good burger. Out of all the burgers I've eaten, and I've eaten a lot, this is bad. These are the worst french fries too. Worst french fries as well. I'm sorry, Blazes Burger, you won this one hands down. You know, you're coming to Brunswick and you're looking for a burger, don't bother. I asked for onion and... Yeah, you asked for onions and pickles and didn't get them. Mm -hmm. You got dirty lettuce or a Marianne sandwich. And keep in mind, the roll's falling apart on me. Two burgers, two fries, and an onion ring, $31. Plus a $5 tip. Which I don't mind, it's not the waitress's fault, the food sucks. Just won't be back here again. So, in review, Fat Boys gets a two. 
and mine was pink and yours was not. So that's like very like... You're very inconsistent cooking. Yeah. So fat boys, you get a two. So any company that can season a fry, that's damn good. I can't season a burger. Oh. I'm sorry, Blaze Burgers. You are a stage better than the cowbell. Better than the cowbell. You yeah. get a five. Oh. A five. The fries are lower to a four. The burger is nothing to write home about. Looks like the Blaze won this one out. So you just saw me and Marianne at Fat Boys Burgers, and I had to do this post review because it, it, I. I Upon further review, I couldn't even I couldn't even explain it. This look, is look, literally look. the worst. Never, meal never even ever finished had. the onion rings. Never finished the fries. Didn't finish the fries. Didn't finish the burger. That's how shitty Fat Boys was. Now, if the reviews are true and it's just some hippy dippy young couple up there using it as a cash cow and they ruin everybody's recipes and what fat boys used to be, shame on you. If you haven't changed anything and this is the original recipes and this is how it's always been, shame on you. But this was probably the worst meal I've ever experienced in the state of Maine. That's how bad it was. Mm. I would rather have a McDonald's burger over, over mm -hmm. fat boys. Mm -hmm. I would rather have a Burger King burger over fat boys. I would rather have a 7-Elevens Burger. I don't. I can't imagine anybody over fat boys. those fries and being happy. I can't. Fat boys used to be ashamed of yourself. If you're in the Brunswick area and you're gonna stop over at Fat Boys, I don't bother. They're not worth it. Sorry, Fat Boys, but not sorry. So if this was your first time subscribing to my channel, thank you for doing so. If you enjoyed the video, put a thumbs up down below. A thumbs up if you enjoyed it. A thumbs down a if thumbs you did. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. A thumbs up if you enjoyed it. A thumbs down if you did enjoy it. Smash that notification bell. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> He's so enamored with himself in this, in this I usually this don't see myself in my sunglasses. Um, and it, let me redo His that. His beauty is distracting himself. Is. No, you keep it. You, just, you keep this. Cut. Cut out some of that, Kevin. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you for taking time to check out the video. If you liked it, put a thumbs up down below. Thumbs down below if you didn't like it. Subscribe, smash that notification bell. And wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing at this moment right now, I hope you all have smiles on your face. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.